Okay, I want to make a video smacking down another sad ass Sony fanboy to piss me off reading his random comment on NeoGAF. Oh, I was looking through here at oh, Phil Spencer's interview with the Guardian of Project Scorpio. And it's fucking jackass. You go here and he says, blah, blah, whatever. I don't even care what Phil Spencer said. And we and I'm looking at the normal comments, whatever, whatever, I don't care. And I get to this Marcel jackass. Well, at least Spencer's not attempting to hide that they're shoving a low mid-range PC in an Xbox shell. I could do without the whole ha ha umpteen terabytes of RAM those PC gamers a boys thing. Don't pretend to be an idiot about the thing you inevitably can be compared to where value is concerned. Phil, first of all, go fuck yourself, Marcel. Phil can do whatever the fuck he wants, and you can go suck your Sony PlayStation 4. But I love this comment. Well, at least Spencer's not attempting to hide that they're shoving a low mid range PC into an Xbox. So, what in the fuck is the PS4 Pro then? The shittiest piece of fucking low end shit PC ever that's only fit for taking a dump on? I mean, compared to the Scorpio, the PS4 Pro is like, t you know, 40% less powerful. So if the Scorpio is just a low mid-range PC, what the fuck is the PS4 Pro? A fucking ultra, ultra, ultra low end PC? You fucking jackass. <laughs> and I don't even know what the second part is coming. It doesn't make fucking sense. First of all, the Scorpio is probably going to be three ninety nine. You're going to get the whole fucking shebang. You're going to get a, a ultra uh, HD Blu-ray drive. How much are those right now? Four hundred bucks or something? You know, do they even make that for PC? And how much is it? I'm, I'm guessing at least a hundred, two hundred bucks if they make uh, UHD Blu-ray drives on PC. Not that I fucking give a shit about UHD Blu-ray, because I don't. I mean, I give a minor shit, but not much of one. I mean, it's better, it's one of those things where it's better to not have than to, than to have, than to not have, but I don't really care. I'm not much of a movie guy, and whatever I do get, I just download off the internet. I'm not going to fucking pay for much. Although it might be nice to look at some stuff in like pristine 4, uh, 4K, because I am... Probably currently sort of planning to buy a 4K setup for uh, Scorpio now. Uh, kind of one of the things that got me going on it was my brother recently. He uh, he spent a whole bunch of money on his PC. My brother's a weird guy. He's like he's kind of the opposite of me. Like me, I'll sit there and agonize over every purchasing decision. You know, well I actually I buy a fair amount of sh you know junk toys, whatever you want to call it. Just in the last. You know, a few months I've bought so much junk. Not junk, but, you know, stuff I wanted. But, I mean, I bought two guns recently. bought an AR. That's one of my other videos. That was $570. I just bought a Ruby LCP pistol. That was $200. I'm about to get the membership to the gun range. It's $160. I'm about to get a probably a concealed carry permit. $200, you know. All this shit. But my point is I, I, I tend to just buy more shit than him. But I agonize over every decision, and I sit there, and I usually buy the value thing, and, you know, I go, I, I mean, I research the hell out of it. Here's what my brother does, like, about once every three years or something, he goes a wild hair, and he, and he decides he wants something, and he goes and he buys, and he buys the most expensive, not the, necessarily just the most expensive, but he buys the top of the line shit, and he doesn't think about it that much. I mean, he does like a day or two of research, but... He doesn't think about it that much like me. He doesn't agonize over it like me. He just does it, and he doesn't like go for the best value like me or anything like that. He just he just fucking goes and does it and buys the top end shit. And you know, I kind of I guess he might. I don't know if he'd say I envy him for that, but it's just funny to me how that's his personality versus mine. You know, like I said, I'm always thinking about buying stuff, and I'm always agonizing over it. And he's just like never buys anything. Then once every blue moon, he he just goes and buys something. He buys the absolute top of the line. So he did that recently, and he bought like a super nice PC. Well, he put it together himself. We've been building, both me and him, been building our own PCs for years. But I mean, he bought the GeForce 1080 Ti, which is seven hundred dollars. He bought the, it has eleven gigabytes of RAM, the just the video card. He bought oh, he, the one of the reasons he 
suddenly got on this kick was he was re he was watching videos about the AMD Rise and when they just came out. And he's not an AMD guy or anything. He's always had Intel, but but he wanted the AMD Rise and so he got the top end, the five hundred dollar one, the eight core, sixteen thread thing, and uh, he got uh, I believe thirty two gigabytes of RAM. You know everything top of the line. Expensive motherboard. He couldn't even when he was building his PC, he had like a week off from work, so he wanted to build it that week and enjoy it that week, you know. You know how that is. And he couldn't really, he had trouble getting everything together in time, and it just so happened the Ryzen had just came out, and he had trouble finding out of all things motherboards for it. Uh, you know, you could find the CPU and everything, but mo uh, decent motherboards for the, with the right chipset and everything, the, the high-end chipset and all that were scarce at the time, all sold out pretty much. He did manage to find one. It wasn't like a super expensive one. It was like a two hundred dollar one, but it was it was pretty good. It was an Asus or something like that, and it's top of the line. Just you know, he probably would have spent three fifty if he'd been able to find something. But he's kind of limited in his choices that he could get. Anyway, so yeah, you know, he got the, a nice nice motherboard, all that. He he didn't get like a nice SSD, I believe, because he already had this like a Samsung eight fifty. It's pretty good, you know. He just stuck with it and that sort of thing. Uh, he spent about three thousand dollars on this PC, but the one of the the crowning jewel of it, he's he got this monitor and and it's a twelve hundred dollar monitor. Personally, I'm kind of like he's been playing on a fifty two inch out of all the stupid shit. This is a guy that's like been addicted to wow. He used to be addicted to World of Warcraft for like ten solid years. Mostly, all he does is play PC games with his life. <laughs> Maybe it's sad. I mean, he has a job, but. That's what he does all the time when he's off. Pretty much, is play PC games, and he plays. He's much more varied, and, and he's not so into and addicted. Because for years he was one of those stereotypical WoW addicts that just didn't even leave the house practically. So he's much better than that now. He plays different games. He plays uh, Path of Exile a lot. He's not so like addicted to it anymore. You know, you can get him up in a house a lot easier now. But uh. But yeah, the point is, he was playing on a 50, out of all the stupid shit for like the past five years at least, he's been playing on a 52-inch Samsung, 1080p. And this TV was before they were doing all these slimline TVs. You know, this had to be an expensive-ass TV at the time as well. And, uh, but it still has a big old bezel, and it's heavy, you know. This, this was a tank of an LCD TV. It's not all slimline like they are now. I mean, it's an LCD TV. It's not a CRT, of course, but, but it's a big-ass uh, LCD just like the one I just got rid of before I got my Vizio. But he was playing, he had this thing set like three feet away from him on his, you know, traditional basically computer desk. I mean, it was a big computer desk, not a little dinky thing you'd buy at Walmart or something. It's like a table, basically. I actually had this whole setup. He had a wireframe, and it seemed uncomfortable shit to me. He, he had some kind of, like, particle board on the on the top of it to kind of make a desk, and and he has two monitors. He has like a little, uh, you know, twenty-inch monitor out to the side. You know, he, he, me and my dad would jokingly call it the command center back when he lived at home. <coughs> but uh, well, it hasn't been for shit fifteen years. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, uh, and he, you know, he has a hundred-dollar keyboard, of course, that he could map all these macros on to for World of Warcraft and all kinds of dumb back when he was more into that in any PC games now all kinds of shit like that <laughs> uh, so yeah point being though so he was playing on a 52 inch Samsung 1080p TV if you ask me it's about the worst possible game it's like a PC game on I mean I guess it was pretty good I mean I, mean, I guess you know it looked pretty good as a PC and everything, but still you're talking about a fucking 52 inch TV you know three feet in front of your face and he played on that, and you know, he he liked it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> you know, he did it on purpose. Obviously, he could have at any time just gotten a monitor, but but uh, but so yeah. So I was I've kind of been bugging him for a while. Like, you need to get a monitor, dude. You know, fuck this big old ass TV. You're not getting any detail. You know, it's so huge. The 1080p is like low resolution on the damn thing when you're sitting that close to it and all that. Well, he finally decided to get a monitor, I guess, and, and with this new PC build. And he got a $1,200 monitor. And me, I thought monitors were kind of all the same. And, you know, okay, a monitor's a monitor. I'm happy with my old 19-inch Sam or 27-inch, sorry, 27-inch 1080p Samsung. 
Holy smokes, that was wrong. This 1200 hour monitor is so nice. I mean, even my sister who doesn't give a shit about this is very impressed by it. She's like, wow. <laughs> I'm talking about this thing's colors or something. I'm just thinking about it. this thing costs $1,200. You get what you pay for in life. It's just the Asus, I think. But it's so nice. It's 34 inch ultra wide screen. It's it's not even 4K is the weird thing. It's like uh, 3,200 by 1440 or something. It's the widescreen equivalent of 2560 by 1440, which means the horizontal is bigger, like 3200 or something. Uh, but yeah, it's actually not technically 4K because he did a lot of research on what he wanted, and he wanted like 144 hertz refresh rate and all this and that. And they don't make 4K monitors with 144 research. Uh, apparently, uh, 144 hertz refresh rate and so on and so forth. He wanted G-Sync and that adds like 200 bucks more and, you know, he wanted everything. I guess he did his homework and, you know, it was pretty much the best you could get, but 1200 bucks. 34 inch, ultra wide screen is curved too. Very thin bezel. The curved you wouldn't think is a big thing, but it really makes it neat looking. <laughs> Just the colors are so rich on it. Everything is so nice. Like I said, even a casual like my sister was so impressed with it. And I played some PlayStation 4. He also got a PlayStation 4 Pro recently. He got the Horizon game. You know, he had that playing on it. Which I believe it doesn't, it kind of plays in a little bit of a letterbox. But like vertical letterbox. Since it's ultra widescreen or whatever. But it looks just fantastic. Anything you play on it looks fantastic. YouTube videos look fantastic on it. And it just got me kind of into this whole lust for something, you know, high end like that. I even, you know, I don't want to spend twelve hundred dollars on a PC monitor. But what I am thinking of doing is when Scorpio comes out, if I can find the right deal and everything, you know, I might spend eight hundred or six hundred at least on a uh, 4K HDR, you know, big screen. Right now, I've just got a 1080p 55 inch Vizio, which is nice and I love it. But you know. Always now you gotta have HDR now you gotta have 4K. Also, I was in Best Buy the other day and I was looking at their monitors. They had like a Sony one and different ones set up, or their TV, HD TVs and 4K. Holy smokes, they look nice. I mean, I know they're calibrated, look great in the store and everything, but man, they they look so nice. So like I said, being wowed by my brother's monitor and everything, I just got this idea like. Maybe this fall I want to splurge. I mean, about you know, I know that the Scorpio will probably be four hundred bucks at least. So spend four hundred bucks on the Scorpio, and and if I can get something for like six hundred or you know, I don't know. That's really on the high end for TVs for me. But if I can get a good deal on a four K HDR TV, you know, uh, probably a Vizio again since they seem to be the best quality that doesn't break the bank. I'm probably thinking of uh, going ahead and splurging on it. I may get a bigger uh, sound system too. All I've got right now is a Vizio sound bar and subwoofer, which is very, very nice compared to the default speakers. But I noticed in Best Buy the other day, I saw Samsung sound bar and subwoofer, you know, advertising 300 watts, and it was like 400 bucks. I was like, God, I bet that sounds nice. I don't think I would spend that much on it, but it's a possibility I might upgrade my subwoofer setup or something. I just want to, you know, like I said, spend a little cash, possibly. I may not even do this. Who knows? But spend some cash and splurge and be wowed like like my brother's $3,000 PC and his uber cool 34-inch curved screen, ultra wide screen. Yada, 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 monitor. So, um, I don't know how I got into that whole discussion, but, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I may do that, but, uh, but yeah, this fucking Juan Marcel and his idiotic comment, I quickly, usually what I like to do, sometimes what I like to do is some of these comments, I'll Google that person and then I'll Google NeoGAF, I'll Google their username, and Marcel's kind of a generic username, so it's kind of hard, but I just Googled like Marcel and NeoGAF, because usually what you find is these bitter fucking Microsoft haters, you know, their whole fucking lives are, are based around hating Microsoft. And you go, you go around, you know, they, a lot of them will just go around making, you know, bitchy ass, as negative and cynical as possible comments towards Microsoft in every thread. Sure enough, he basically was doing that. <coughs> you 
you know. I couldn't directly find any evidence that he was a Sony fan, but I don't believe. But yeah, he, he's, a, he's a little bitch. He goes around, ooh, make sure this sucks in every single topic possible. Of course, like half the memberships at NeoGath. But yeah, I just thought that funny comment was fucking funny and that nobody responded to it, you know. Oh, Spencer and I didn't be behind the shoving a low me. First of all, it's not even a low mid range PC. If you looked at, like, over 50% of PCs sold are fucking laptops. How many laptops have a 6 teraflop GPU? You know, 1%? <laughs> Actually, I'm sure it's not even close to 1% because. I think only a few NVIDIA lap, uh, NVIDIA mobile cards can even hit 6 teraflops. <coughs> and how many of those are actually selling out of the, you know, tens of millions of laptops sold in the world? You know, 50,000? <laughs> it's probably like one one hundredth of a percent. So, you, you know, you put all those PCs, you put all the shitty-ass Chromebooks, all the shitty-ass app, Apples, you know... <coughs> I mean, apples are nice, but they're not—they're not exactly high graphics. Uh, and then you put all the shitty-ass low-range PCs. People are buying at Best Buy. Pretty much every PC, every pre-made PC that you can get, it's not gonna—you know, there's only gonna be like probably out of all the wider pantheon of PCs out there, a six teraflop GPU would make the Scorpio more powerful than almost anything. <coughs> it's gonna be more powerful, way more powerful than every phone. Than every other console, than every other tablet, you know, <clears throat> than 99.99% of PCs. I mean, I know he's, he's trying to say it in comparison to like a PC gamer, which is like the 1% anyway. But yeah, the, most of those, it's, it's kind of mid range. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it low range at all. Because my PC card's RX 480, and it can play everything at like max settings, you know, 1080p, no problem. It can do a lot of stuff at 4K, actually. As long as you don't mind 30 frames per second, which I've always been a guy. I don't give a shit about 60 frames per second. I really don't. You know, I know it's a big deal, but it kind of annoys me because I don't give a fuck. 30 frames per second is fine for me. <laughs> so be that as it is, it's nice for me because, you know, I don't have to give a shit. <laughs> Honestly, like when I, when my brother got his 1080 Ti, I don't know. Just looking at some of the benchmarks and stuff, it's basically twice as fast as my RX 480. And, you know, thinking about it, I'm good with that because, you know what? I don't mind playing 30 frames per second. <laughs> you know, my brother likes 60 FPS and above, probably. I don't give a shit. So I can play in the same fucking settings with my RX 480 as he can with his $700 GTX 1080 Ti. You know, I'm eye candy, not frame rate. Uh, so, yeah, and I don't even know if I can tell the difference between 30 and 60. I mean... It's certainly not something I noticed, you know. <laughs> I think side by side, I'm sure I could and whatnot, but it's never anything where I'm like, oh, look how great this is compared to this. Or, oh my god, this frame rate is so bad. You know, I'm just not, my eyes are not like that, or my mind, whatever. I don't give a shit. <laughs> and I can't even tell without thinking about it or whatever. <laughs> Looks fine to me, you know. <clears throat> so, yeah, I just wanted to bash this NeoGAF idiot. And his negative. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll Google him again and show you what he was saying. Marcel Neogaf. Like I said, I couldn't find any like overt, uh, overt Sony fanboyismism, but you know, uh, here he, I, I clicked on this one. He made a comment down in this thread, very negative. Of course, this is from 2014. Trading your PS3 to co partially cover the cost of the Connect 2. This is some thread about a GameStop promo to trade in your PS3. Trading your PS3 to partially cover the cost of the Connect 2. What a value! You know, a little bitch. Bitch thing. Uh. Yeah, like I said, I didn't, it looked like he's been banned in the past, but. No, it looks like he may be a. Uh... See, you keep saying banned. I'm not sure, but somebody's probably banned. Oh, here we go. He is a PS fanboy, of course. I mean, you make comments like that. Look at this fucking dumb shit. 
Better be my boy, Knack. Oh yeah, Knack is so good, you fucking moron. Fucking shittiest game ever. <clears throat> so yeah, you guys are idiot, you guys are Sony fanboy. So yeah, just wanted to smack down this moron, because nobody, of course, did on NeoGAF.